Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create text spelling effect in Filmora 9 as you have just seen at the beginning of the video. Here I am on Filmora 9 main editing workspace, let's delete my sample project to show you the steps from the beginning. Firstly, go to the title tab on the main feature navigation toolbar. Select title subfolder. Then drag and drop the default title template with no animation onto the timeline. Go to the advanced text editor by right click on the title box, and select advanced edit. Now we are in Filmora 9 advanced text editor with our sample text in the preview window. As we need to create text spelling effect for my name, Jackie, I will add my first character at the content box. Let's change the font and resize it to a big, bold one. OK. I will go with 200. And move this character to the left of the screen. Let's change the font to Lotto Black which is a big and bold one. Then, add text border at the customize area on the left. Let's increase the size of the border a little bit. You can also add text shadow here. But I will not do that. OK. Here is the first character, and its timeline. This character has no animation. Now I will add other character by doing the same steps as the first one. Click this text button again to add new text in the same title box. Being mentioned that the new text will have the same format with the previous one. So it will save your time if you're going to create the same style characters. I will also replace the text with a character. Move it, resize it, and change the color if I want to. Now I will fast forward this part to save your time. Alright. Now I have my text ready on the preview window. Down below is the timeline of the text. This area is where we can control when the character appears on the screen. I will not adjust my first character as it will appear at the beginning. I will adjust the starting time of other characters by shorten the duration of the text on the timeline like this. Let's preview it to see how the characters appear. I think I should adjust the last character a little bit. It's fine now. You can also use Filmora 9 preset for each character if you don't want to design them yourself too. Just select the character on the screen, then select a preset like this. That's easier and faster than creating your own design. Finally, you can add animation for each character, so that they will appear in different way. Just select a character and choose the animation effect on the left. I just select some random animations to show you as an example in this case. You don't have to do the same with me. Finally, click OK to go back to the timeline. Let's preview it.
Let's shorten the duration of the title to increase the speed of the animation. Now I will add a green background under this title box and export it so that I can overlay it on my video as a channel name. Luckily, I did not select any green color. Let's export it now. Let's import this footage back into film or a media library. I can delete the title on the timeline now. I will add a sample video as a background. Now I will overlay my text video on top of it. Then I can activate Filmora 9 Chroma Key feature to remove the green background. I can select the clip. Then activate Filmora 9 Chroma Key feature to remove the green background. Now I can move the text spelling video around the screen to where I want to. Don't forget to lock the main track before clicking on the preview window to move the top video. I can place the video as my channel logo for example. Let's see how it looks. Cool. Right. Such kind of text spelling effect can be used as your video title or channel logo. It's up to you to decide how to use it. Another way to use this text spelling effect is for teaching online such as English pronunciation classes, kids spelling classes and so on. And here is the effect I've just created and some other example. So, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I know that this is a very hard time for, for us to when we have to stay at home and uh, doing nothing. But it's, the, uh, it's a good chance for us to learn something. We have time, so if you want to learn everything about Fimura, just go ahead to the description. Because I have uh, my master class about Fimura in the description. The course is very affordable. All the tutorial in one courses. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.